Hey everybody, hey Cardware here, and in this video we are going to get my GMK Tech Evo X2 with the AI Max Plus 395, also known as the Strix Halo, working with Rockham 7.1 and Ubuntu 24.04. This is kind of like the starting place to do things like Comfy UI, Llama CPP, Olama, uh, anything AI related. I've noticed it seems to work pretty well with Rockham 7.1 and then doing things in like Docker. So running Llama CPP in Docker, I'll have a guide on that next. Running Comfy UI, not in Docker, although you could, uh, but running uh, Comfy UI just through uh, Python in a virtual environment or running Olama in uh, Docker. It all seems to work pretty well. So we're gonna go through just getting everything set up. I have a brand new install of Ubuntu server. So I'm going headless and this uh, GMK Tech Evo X2 is going to be basically just for text inference. I'm not really going to do any image and video stuff, although I could. I tested out Comfy UI with Rockham 7.1 and it works just fine. But we're going to focus on just getting everything set up and we can build off that whichever way you want to go. This also actually works, uh, these, so you can go like for the Radeon, like dedicated GPU route. We're gonna follow the Ryzen route, which is mainly just for the Ryzen AI CPUs. So if you're running like an older one with just like a 780M or 680M like integrated GPU, this isn't gonna work for you. You'll still have to go with like the unsupported methods of Rockham if you wanna proceed, but those work pretty well uh, as well. But it's nice to see like the Evo X2s actually having like some support out of the box for this type of stuff and not have to do any janky methods. Uh, so I'm just gonna switch over to my uh, terminal that I'm SSH'd into my Ubuntu server. And then we're just gonna go through installing stuff. There's gonna be some reboots, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna have to upgrade the kernel uh, to 6.14. That's the kernel that is required for this. So uh, there is some setup and some uh, pre-homework that you have to do. So we're gonna go ahead and start with just logging into our Ubuntu server. And I'm gonna be following the guide uh, over like off the screen. So you'll see me just pasting in commands. Just keep in mind that all this stuff is like accessible through the guide. So you um, I'm not just like randomly pasting commands, they're just directly from the guide. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do sudo apt update and then get the kernel updated. So we'll get that started here. Luckily it doesn't take too long, but we do need a reboot afterwards. So we're gonna let that install and then um, I'll probably just remove some of the long loading periods in here, but uh, I'll make a note, you know, kind of about how long stuff took when I bring you back after something installs. Okay, that, I mean, that only took a couple seconds. We're gonna do a quick reboot. All right, we're done here, and you can just double check to make sure it all went well by doing uname-r. We can see we're in kernel 6.14. And now let's do a full update and upgrade just to make sure everything is the latest. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is download the AMD GPU install deb file. And then we're gonna go ahead and install it. And you're probably gonna see this warning. That is totally fine, you can just continue. Okay, now we're gonna do the actual AMD GPU-install command. And I'm gonna do just my use case is Rockham, but if you are also like have a GPU or like a monitor that you have hooked up and you want like a, an actual graphical user interface and you want the AMD drivers, you can also do just here you'll do uh, comma, no space, graphics, but I'm just gonna do Rockham. That it's just for uh, my headless system. This is all that I need. So this is actually a huge like 23 I think gigabytes or so um, so it does take a little while okay that took maybe five seven minutes or so um, but before we reboot we're just going to add our 
user to the appropriate groups, and then we can just do a sudo reboot now. Okay, we are back, and you can double check to make sure everything installed well by doing the rockcom info, and you should see an agent two with uh, just AMD Radeon graphics. I don't actually get the 8060s like name in here, but uh, it should be good if you see something like that, uh, especially if you see like the GFX 1151 or 1150. Uh, and then you can move forward. So what we're going to do next is set our shared memory. Now, I'm using the way that AMD says to do it, which is we're going to use pipx. So we're going to do sudo apt install pipx. Yes. And then we're going to run this pipx ensure path. And we're just going to exit and then go back in here real quick. And then we should be able to install. Uh, that was just to basically like make sure the paths are reflecting. So we should be able to install the AMD debug tools now. And this is going to let us set our TTM, which basically allows you to dedicate certain amounts of memory to the GPU. So. If we just run AMD TTM right now, we can see that the default is we have 62.23 gigabytes. And in future releases of Ubuntu, I think this is going to be handled like automatically. But for now, we're going to set this manually. And I'm going to use 115 gigabytes for the memory, like the VRAM. Even though it's not really VRAM. It's just the system RAM, the shared RAM. I'm going to do 115. If you go over 112, you get like a warning saying that you have more than 90% assigned to it. It's really kind of up to you what you want to do. In order to set it to 115 gigabytes, we will just paste in this sudo amd ttm dash dash set 115. Now, if you're using the system for other things as well, if like it's Ubuntu desktop and you're like running, like you're just daily driving it, you know, for your everything, you probably don't want to go this high. You probably maybe want to set it around like 100 or something or 110. Again, I'm only using this for AI. Uh, so I just want to dedicate as much as I can to it. So we're just going to do this right here. We'll put in our password and not sudo. I need to actually fix that. Um, just AMD TTM set 115 and you'll see the request value is 115 exceeds 90 percent we're just going to go yes and then we can see that it was successfully configured and the configuration was written and we're good to go okay so you got the little penguins here saying that everything is good to go we can just hit y for a reboot or if you messed up like i did last time i did this you can just do sudo reboot now to do a reboot and then we'll check to make sure with the AMD TTM command just to make sure everything is good. And then we can move on. Okay, we are back. Let's just, I could type that in, but I'm going to copy and paste it. And we can see we're good to go. So Rockboom 7.1 is installed. We've got our TTM set correctly to whatever works best for you. And the next steps really are just going to kind of depend on what you want to do. So if we bring back uh, the guide here, we just finished up this AMD TTM thing. Uh, now you can, if you want to move on to like Llama CPP or Olama or uh, image video creation with Comfy UI, these guides are coming soon. I'll have a video and a Substack guide. Definitely subscribe to my Substack. This is going to be like my primary thing. I'm moving back to this. I've been hosting my own documentation websites, and I'm just realizing I'm taking too much time building those sites, not enough time like actually learning and making the videos that I want to make. So I might do it again in the future if you know time allows and I like enjoy doing that. But for now, putting everything back on Substack is just easier. I don't like a few things about it, but you know we're gonna just stick with it for now and uh, I'll put some uh, affiliate links in here definitely click those if you can it's a free way to help out the channel uh, I get a little commission if you purchase something that qualifies for a commission for me it doesn't always have to be like the specific item you click on uh, but that really helps um, and then also subscribing to my YouTube channel and subscribing to Substack those things are super helpful for me liking the videos like that's awesome commenting 
awesome. Uh, it really helps the channel and helps get more and more of these videos out. I'm really going to be pushing hard on the AI stuff and local hosting. I've got a whole huge guide that I'm working on for setting up the media server. There's a bunch out there that are really good, but I'm going to add my you know flavor and twist to it uh, all through Proxmox. Uh, I try to do everything with Proxmox. Granted, uh, for this AI like dedicated stuff, I kind of just like doing bare metal Ubuntu installs, but it's you know kind of depends on on what you want to do and what hardware you're using. But anyways. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.